The Adelaide Hills is internationally renowned for producing clean water and premium food and wine in a clean and green way. It has to. Not only does the consumer expect it, but it's essential for those who live amongst this working agricultural landscape. This includes the residents and the many native plant and animal communities who call this place home. Agricultural sprays and applications are a necessity in all forms of agriculture conducted in the hills. They're used for the management of pests and disease, for fertiliser application and for sun protection. All agricultural chemicals are regulated by the Australian Pesticides and Veterinary Medicines Authority. There are also a number of organic farms operating in the Adelaide Hills. Despite using minimal or no chemicals, other spray applications are used and are regulated through their own industry's certification requirements. A buffer in a rural situation is a separation of land between two different land uses, such as an orchard or vineyard, and a neighbouring private residence. The buffer may be open ground or vegetated and is put in place to minimise the impact from rural activities that may generate airborne sprays, noise, dust and odours. Buffers are required when a change of land use occurs on the neighbouring property, such as the construction of a house or if a different crop is to be grown next to an existing residence, school or hospital. It is the requirement of the new development or change of land use to install such a buffer. Buffers are effective if those applying chemical sprays are qualified, are following the correct application rates and operating in suitable weather conditions. To purchase and use agricultural chemicals, landholders must undertake and achieve ChemCert accreditation. ChemCert is a nationally recognised accredited training program certifying all who have successfully completed training to operate within their own state's legislative requirements for chemical preparation, application and storage. A ChemCert accreditation will last for five years. After this time, certificate holders must undergo training again. This applies to all primary producers in the Adelaide Hills, contractors and councils. Gardeners and lifestyle properties are exempt. However, if you have a large holding and have a significant weed problem you'd like to manage with chemicals, you should seek advice from the Hills and Flurio Landscape Board. A recent study released by the EPA found that common weed control sprays on residential properties were present in a majority of receiving waters throughout the Mount Lofty Ranges. This highlights the importance of correct application methods. Many of the agricultural sprays applied in the Adelaide Hills may not need to be registered as chemicals with the Agricultural Pesticides and Veterinary Medicines Authority and may be applied for a whole range of other purposes. In orchards, nutrients such as calcium are applied through sprayers for foliar and nutrient uptake. Clay is also applied foliarly to help protect the developing fruitlets from sunburn. Foliar sprays are applied in both conventional and organic orchards, despite having less risks than some of the agricultural chemicals that are applied in the same careful manner as if they were. It's pretty clear that agricultural sprays and applications are widespread across the Adelaide Hills and they are managed through local planning policies, training and certification, regulated through state and federal industry bodies. We need to remember that the Adelaide Hills is a productive agricultural area Yet we also recognise it has strong, vibrant communities and important areas of conservation. We all need to be aware and considerate of each other's requirements when it comes to agricultural sprays in our region. You can find out more information in this leaflet prepared by the Adelaide Hills Council with input from Council's Rural Land Management Advisory Group. They are available online and in the Adelaide Hills Council libraries and community centres across our district.